Recording is on. Wow. Oh, oh, look at that. Thank you, so, computer woman voice. Yeah, so ominous. Our recording is on. So, this is my unicorn onboarding meeting. Hooray! Hooray. Hooray. What, what do I got to do? Okay. So, um, beginning this meeting, uh, just grounding ourselves into Giveth and our purpose, why we're here. Um, Griff, I didn't pick out a nice quote for you um, like I did for Kai because I love it. <laughs> um, but let's just each say <clears throat> one word um, about like why we continue to do this work. Not like what originally brought us here necessarily, but why we stick through it even through it. Just one word. <clears throat> Sorry, is one word? Yeah. Is decentralize all the things one word? Um, you know, just because it's a hashtag doesn't make it one word. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I'll go with D A T T. It's like a it's an act. Okay. All right, okay, pass. <laughs> Accepted. <laughs> Kai, did you hear? I, you dropped out for a second. I, I have to also come up with a word. Yeah, that just describes Griff, or no. that describes. No, just why you still are here. What, like, what keeps you doing this? Just one word. Not like what originally brought you to give it, but why is it that you just that you stick with it? Um, being human, or the the human condition. I don't know how to t <clears throat> say it. Fred. Uh, fraternity without being exclusive to women. <laughs> uh, is there a word? What's the what's the neutral word? Is there I don't know. Community? Hmm, no, for fraternity. There's sorority, but it's the other. It's just gendered in the different. There's no neutral, right? Yeah, it's a good yeah. question. I don't know. I call it humanity, but I mean that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a German word for it. Menschlichkeit. Menschlichkeit. Yeah, and mensch is human, and it means like to be human. Oh, nice. Well, um, thank you for that. We'll take the German word. <laughs> uh, how about middlemen? Uh, <laughs> I, that canoe, I think I think get my point. All right, I like that one. It's creative. Mm. Well, Kai, I'm kind of on the same tip as you. But I'm going to go with humanism. <laughs> Radical humanism. <laughs> OK, so um, let's see. So Griff, have you, we have to confirm these things. Have you read and agree to the base process? Yes. Mission statement? Yes. Manifesto? Yes. The conflict resolution process. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the, the roles process. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The milestone tutorial. No, no, no. <laughs> um, you haven't read it or you don't agree to it? I agree to the milestone process, but I have not read the milestone tutorial. It's out of date, is what I heard. <laughs> OK, fair. Um, and. Have you presented your roles in role spreadsheet format? Yes, you have. We all witnessed that at the roles meeting this past week. Good job. Um, and now we want to hear from you. Um, what's what's your life trajectory, and how does being here and doing this work fit in with? what you sense you're called to do and to be. Well, my life trajectory is very aligned with the Giveth mission because basically it is my life trajectory. Uh, like I really want to see, I want to DAOify the world and I want to see these DAOs uh, eventually, potentially 
create new forms of human organizations that like provide services that currently authoritarian governments are mostly providing. So I really think that the nonprofit space is the perfect place to start experimenting with new ways of providing these services that affect tragedy the commons issues. And that's what I really want to work on. And that's why I find really interesting is novel ways of solving these tragedy of the commons issues and governing shared resources without coercion. And that's kind of my shtick. Okay, cool. And um, to follow up with that, like what unique talents and gifts do you have that, that contribute to give us journey? Well, I have a really strong network in the Ethereum ecosystem and I'm generally a lovable kind of guy and people usually like me and I can, I'm a, I don't know why, but I can really talk, I can kind of be like a good type man. So like, I get really excited about something and I can, um, I can like transmit that enthusiasm to other people pretty effectively. And, uh, I also happen to have a digital a master's degree in digital currency. I'm a huge student in the space, and uh, I'm very into like systems and processes. Uh, as a process engineer back in the day, so that's kind of uh, where I contribute the most is in design and leadership. And I also happen to be probably give its largest donor. So that's that's probably something to throw down. I'm pretty much mm -hmm. open to just throwing all my money into give it is whenever it's needed. I think that contributes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um so can you tell us like a little bit about your commitments like this is stuff that's documented in the rules sheet but also like we want to hear from you and i especially want kai and bowen as your sponsors and your advocates to hear from you what is it that you really commit to to doing for giveth and how do you commit to showing up um as you enter the unicorn dac well, well the most obvious commitments are that i am uh the delegate for the DAC and the delegate for the governance campaign. Uh, and I'm really excited to replace myself by a DAO. Hopefully the unicorn uh, DAO will replace me for the delegate of the DAC and for the governance one, it might take a little bit longer, but eventually I hope that we can create some sort of DAO to get rid of me there. Uh, I also, in general, I do a lot of the like, strategic management for uh, like Giveth, or at least I try to influence the strategy or present strategic options to the community as a whole uh, about path forwards and uh, what, you know, yeah, like when do we do certain actions and, and uh, uh, you know, I hope to have, unfortunately, I'm not the guy who can make a roadmap and stick with it. Because if I make a roadmap, I'm just going to want to rebel against it. I'll, I'll, I'll go with someone else's roadmap, but I can't really do it for myself. So, but I, I like to be the strategic, I hope to be the strategic, one of the major strategic influencers of that roadmap. Uh, I also represent Ethereum, or I represent Give It to Ethereum on podcasts and I'm just doing a tour through Central America, giving presentation, or sorry, South America, giving presentations and uh, kind of within the Ethereum network, uh, like the people that work within Ethereum, uh, I'm, a, I'm a good spokesman for that. And I consider that a role. Definitely. I also, I also uh, try to inspire us to live our values or like, follow our values and uh, sometimes that means like uh, avoiding being a legal entity. Uh, I, have a, I have the role as, as overseeing the legal structure for Giveth and basically that's like knowing when to compromise 
on being in a blockchain based entity is pretty much uh, that role. Mm -hmm. And I also do a lot of recruitment. So uh, like just recently we got Michael and Jeff on board. Uh, I feel like I got Bowen in, you know, I got you in Lorelei and I kind of try to find ways to get people I think that will be impactful to give it like in to the give a circle. Cool. Um, so sponsors, uncles, Uncle Bone and Uncle Kai, uh, do you guys have any questions about Griff's commitments or is there anything that you want to add or say about that? Um, I'm trying to formulate a question, but I don't have I don't have anything specific at this point in time that I think needs clarifying about what he said. Okay. I have questions for you guys if you don't have any for us, but okay. try do you have any questions? I don't really have questions. I'm thinking okay. about I can see how it will be like extremely useful in, uh, for a person that isn't specifically Griff. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to pose a scenario to you guys. Okay. okay. So you know that as advocates um of of this unicorn that you are kind of this this person that they can go to from this point onward um to check in about their work if things are going well or not well. You guys will be present at like evaluations of Griff's unicorn status. Um, you'll, you'll always be allies to each other and, um, you know, you guys can inquire to him if, if there's something that he needs to be checked for, or maybe he needs to be congratulated or really told he's doing well or something or reaffirmed, or maybe he needs to be challenged. Like you guys are great. Like you're the kind of the first go-to people, um, at least in the structure of the unicorn DAC. So Think about like, imagine next year, it's June and Burning Man uh, preparations have heated up and Griff is being an absentee daddy to giveth. <laughs> what do you do? Um, that's, that's a really good question. I would probably have to stop up uh, uh, working on Burning Man prep with Griff long enough to address the problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but but I, 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 I think I think a gentle nudge in the direction of uh, if, if something if there was a, any ball droppery, I think it would be pretty pretty simple to kind of address an issue um, uh, to make sure that it doesn't spiral out of control or whatever. Um, this is a this is a really multi-layered uh, problem question uh, because since I've lived uh, through two cycles of exactly being in that situation, I can just look at what I did, and um, I think what happens during that time is in general we drop the ball. So <laughs> I, w I actually have a, a whole plan I would uh, suggest for a summer, which is like just. There needs to be, we should just like take a break for real for a few weeks because it's so, so much is going on. And the way it usually happens is quietly, like we don't say it, but everybody's just getting caught up in his, uh, some people are on holiday with the kids. The other people are like planning for Burning Man. The next one is, you know, mm -hmm. everybody just needs time. There, there are times when people need time mm -hmm. and summer is one of them. And, uh, I would not hold back Griff in any way for doing anything for Burning Man because it's one of the things that makes Giveth uh, special. Like, I'm not 100% on board with everything on Burning Man, but you know, it's like, uh, it's probably okay. You know, I really mean 100%. I'm, I, yeah. I don't know where I'm 100% behind on, you know, I, I really have a problem with dogma and there is, some dogma around uh, Burning Man, so that's probably the things. But in general, um, just like having been there, and also, <laughs> like I would never have been to Burning Man if it wasn't for Griff. I would not be, like nobody, we wouldn't talk here if it wasn't for Griff. But 
I don't think Giveth would be here if Griff was not on, had, would not have been on Burning Man and living through the on, with the burning culture. So this is all interconnected and it's part of the thing. Um, I can speak one thing to Griff's Rose in that, yeah, it would be awesome to get him off the delegation role to not make more work because he clearly has lots of stuff to do. And the best things are, I think the best things Griff has to, uh, or brings to give with is talking to people and being uh, our voice out outward facing to the, the the core Ethereum community, like the really the, 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 the key holders, the stakeholders of other projects that we're very near with. And uh, I really always liked how, I mean, I also came to give it uh, through seeing him on uh, Omar's show. So yeah, <laughs> I, always, I feel like there's like, he, he sees it very correctly that I really like this quality that to inspire people. And, you know, it's also coming back to the question, Burning Man as well, he's inspiring people there as well. So who am I to say, tell him don't, but you know, like uh, for sure, and he it's know, not he knows, not. he knows he's crazy, so he knows he's doing too much, and he knows he he should do uh, he should delegate the work better. So here's hoping to maybe you can, but you know, always always trying to evolve. Yeah, hoping, Mike, hoping Michael, hoping Michael will be the hero there. Yeah, Vaughn. Um, I was just going to say, um, I need to run away from the keyboard for like two minutes. Uh, it's, it, I, I just got up, so I need to run over there for just a minute, and I'll be right back. But I, I have the volume on, so I should be able to hear you. <laughs> like, it's not even going to be two minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. You're not even going. <laughs> um, you're good. Cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Kai, and I think it's also... Yeah, not not always a matter of, you know, asking someone to like, you know, stop working on something to work on more on their giveth responsibilities or whatever, but maybe yeah, supporting them to delegate or maybe, you know, before Burning Man kicks up, you know, in those roles meetings being like, Hey Griff, remember how summer is every year for you? Like we're in the roles meeting in April. Like, let's think about how we can hand off some of these <laughs> duties for the months of June and July, you know? Um, and obviously I'm a resource there too, you know, if Griff is flunking um, and isn't getting it, I, I'm partly as uh, his assistant, partly responsible for um, helping him to stay effective <clears throat> for sure yeah and uh, it was implied in the question uh the, the thing yeah i really am hoping that michael can be kind of like a project manager in general for the dap is where he's starting but he's i i really hope that we can build a strong relationship and he can like fill in a lot of the stuff for the Give Galaxy. I'm like afraid to invite him to Burning Man. I'm like, I'm kind of hoping he doesn't want to go. <laughs> that, should, that should have been part of the interview, you know, honestly, for this role is like, please tell me you hate Burning Man. <laughs> no, I think he's in, gonna probably end up coming. Dang it. I uh, mean, isn't that why you love me and hired me, Griff? Because I don't like Burning Man. <laughs> well, that's definitely not. <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to do something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, I also yeah. have to mention that, like, actually, it was not even like that. So Griff was actually taking good care of Give It. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, like, it, it, there's just, like, three weeks where it breaks down completely. We should just be real about that. And I like uh, that. It's largely yeah. because of Burning Man. I think that's um, really smart to just get realistic about the expectations. Um, yeah, and you know, I was doing okay. Like I did my duties, but like, you know, as a community internally, we were falling apart and I wasn't there to pick it up. So yeah. it's definitely like, that's not necessarily a role that is outlined on the spreadsheet, but that is something that I usually, 
try it to bring and I think we have a lot of people that try to bring harmony into the like the give it circle but like I don't know I'm in a I'm in a, a strategic spot to really bring the harmony and I thought it was a big fail well I think that um having like pre-announced notice of like hey we're going to be really slowing down work during this month or these two months that gives people an opportunity to plan for doing other work that helps them um, get through yeah so one thing sorry uh, but just one maybe we should really try to have like these strategic meetings i mean like the rose meeting kind of goes there but there should maybe be a monthly meeting where we just talk about the next month, you know, not the month we were in, but whatever comes after. Yeah. Because, because also Griff voiced me, I don't know, but I think he's distracted. Yeah. Sorry guys, there's uh, like it's a cleaning person. It's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> okay. Cool. So um it's um it's because griff has this um he, he often uh, mentioned to me that he has this uh, a thing where he would like to <laughs> he has a strategy but he, for some reason he is not he, he has a problem of telling it to everybody like it's uh maybe like when is the point to you know it it, it usually comes from like brain to action more than to brain words action Mm. And uh, which is which is which has been okay, it's, but it would be nice to be a little more overall strategic. Like we said, like for an example, like okay, this time is coming up, we we'll probably not expect too much here, and maybe then we can crunch it here or whatever. There is strategic stuff we should yeah. talk, and maybe if we have a monthly meeting, it's like a strategic meeting or whatever, and we just talk. Nothing hard, but like just talk about the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is my suggestion. I like your infrastructure ideas, Kai. Definitely. Um, well, this is great. Um, we basically have gone through <clears throat> most of the steps of this meeting. Um, we just got to agree to like an evaluation in the future. Just, does three months sound good to you guys? Yep. I'm, I'm okay with that. Sure. Okay, cool. So I'll prompt y'all, um, you know, three, one, three weeks, three months from this week. Um, and we can reevaluate. I'm so excited to like, evaluate things after the unicorn DAC has been running and yeah but it's like yeah um yeah we should I hope to to get started with the unicorn DAC stuff soon how soon can we onboard you and Bowen me and Bowen um so Bowen <laughs> let's see let's I mean go. thank you yeah Griff uh, is that official now well um I think so let me see on our step here <laughs> I mean, I do want to say there. I, I I hope that you know, because Burning Man gets really hard for sure uh, when Decentral kicks in. But you know, I have Argon DAC, Tenograph, that node, Iden three, and a bunch of other projects that I can't even think of right now. Tenograph, open source block explorers. Now, uh, I should just look. I have so many fucking projects that demand my time. And so, yeah. like, I definitely hope that you guys can help me, like, see things that I might be missing in Giveth, you know, that feel like there's a cultural, like, opportunity for improvement or whatever, you know? Uh, I I'm really hoping that with Michael and Jeff, our governance campaign has gotten a lot bigger. And Jeff probably won't help so much, but Michael will help drastically. At least this is the goal, and with Lorelai as well. So what I'm hearing is that that the role that Michael is uh, hoped to fill is really necessary, and whether or not he ends up being the person that fills that role, you need that role to be filled. Definitely. A project manager. We just need a project manager for the good galaxy. I mean, yeah. starting with the DAP, but... Um, 
you know, eventually like the whole giveth galaxies strategy roadmap, that kind of thing, you know, he'll be like an organizing force to make sure things get on paper. Like Kyle was saying, you know, this is, this is my dream. Um, what, what do you guys think about this vote? How, how we set up this vote? I know we talked about it last time, Kai, unicorn onboarding meeting, but I'm still a little bit like, I haven't initiated because I don't know necessarily how we should set up this. Like the, the last step is, is um, the community voting to approve the unicorn's entry. And we haven't done that for Kai yet. Um, just because it's like, uh, who votes on it? Uh, I don't know. It's a pre-agreed meeting. Like we, I mean, we are the uncles, and we 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 ask other people for their sentiment, you know. But, but as uncles, we would have decided before that whatever he says here, like uh, uh, you know, is basically pre-approved by us. So right, but the, I mean, this is this is the process that we agreed to in the proposal. She's talking about a different vote. She's talking about a unicorn-wide vote, right? Ah. So, like no one's technically a unicorn until there's a vote somewhere by current unicorns. However, right now there's zero unicorns or there's one unicorn depending on how you, you know, recognize that vote. Oh We're yeah. Working. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. what I propose is that we just do a Lumio and invite, um, <clears throat> invite all of the people who are currently in application, which is, Bowen, Griff, Kai, Lansky, Chris, Danny, and me, and invite all of us as uh, the voting members. And then even just for this first batch, does I, that sound good to you guys? I support this. How about we do make a DAO on Aragon for Unicorn DAC and just do it? I don't know how quick that would be. Uh, Mm -hmm. You don't know what? How quick that would be? Like, is it? <laughs> that, it right. takes me two minutes. It takes like a half an hour to set up the thing. Two and then minutes. You have to, okay. And then you have to uh, hand add uh, everybody uh, with an actual Ethereum address with the tokens and everything. I think that it'd be great to do it with the DAO on Aragon um, as soon as we actually have everybody onboarded. Yeah. At this point, I think it makes a lot more sense to do it super because it takes like 30 seconds to do a Lumio, but it's going to yeah. take like five minutes for every person that we are adding into the DAO if we're doing yeah. it on the blockchain. And so I agree, it's, it's, like just for this first round, since none of us are officially unicorns yet, maybe we'll keep it on Lumio and then and then once we're all voted in through the Lumio yeah, and, process and, we and can screenshot them all if you know for posterity if necessary, yeah. just so we just so we have proof of it happening. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, we don't necessarily need Lumio because that's actually what you get get Aragon for. That's what you do with Aragon. You have like, I we create the DC. Uh, like, I, I, I'm I'm starting as the first holder. I mint one unicorn token. That means I'm the only holder. Then I make a vote. Like, add another person. Then there's two. Then we make a vote to add the next person. Then there's three. And everybody, you mint another token. And we are all equal shareholders of this uh, DAO. I think this is perfect for when we actually have the unicorns the first round voted in. But the thing is like, to me, like adding like Danny and Lansky and stuff to this DAO on Argon now, just so that they can vote on no, the other he's, people he's, feels premature when we don't even know for sure if they're gonna be voted in. Can I, can I clarify? If I'm understanding Kai correctly, he's saying that he can start by creating the DAO, which means he's the single person who has has voting power. And then he can cast a vote to add Griff and then add Griff into the DAO. And then there will be two people in the DAO who can vote. And then, you know, as we go through these meetings, we add people to it, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and, and that way, not only does it break up the work of adding people into the DAO, but um, it also makes the votes quick in the beginning. Yeah, but we should. I I think I think your the meal idea makes a lot of sense. Before, like, just because once we give them, like, it, either we'd have to make two DAOs, right? Yeah. One where we well, onboard people, 
and then one that's real. Or is there, is there anything preventing us from doing both? Because I think it makes sense to break up adding people into the DAO as they are voted in. Yeah. And so the Lumio, the Lumio, Lumio to start, and then once Kai and I are voted in, then we get to be part of this DAO. And yes. and I want to fucking start getting my money. I want to get my <laughs> six hundred a week, baby. I want that. I want to get that and uh, and make like start moving moving that out and make everyone want to be a unicorn. A S A F P. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. If you want to slow it down, let's do it that way. Sure. <laughs> slow it down it's with okay, the Lumio. It's okay. Well, hmm? I, I think the Lumio will be super fast, honestly. But but that's I understand what you're saying, Kai, because you're right. But we're also right in that it's going to take you longer to do that than it will to do a Lumio. Um, I mean, but, Kai, do you want to make two different DAOs? One for onboard and one for the actual unicorn but, but in order to do that we need to try yeah. people's uh, ethereum addresses down and then explain to them how to use aragon to do Here, it let's, how about this kai i'll race you <laughs> i'll make lumios you make a dao that's just for onboarding <laughs> no, and oh, he's we'll already doing it right now he just yeah. leaned over his keyboard so of make course it. i already made one of course i already made one on rinkaby so oh, there is yeah. one Making a DAO is faster than Lumio. I promise yeah. you that. It is. Because you have to write all this shit for Lumio. You don't write anything. And, oh, the and also, the prices for Ethereum are like down, down. This costs like really not much money. If it was January now, now, it would be really expensive. I don't have any interest in doing a DAO on mainnet. I don't see any value. No. I, I do too. Mainnet. <laughs> on Rinkaby. Why? Because why? What's the problem with mainnet? Every time you vote, you're, you're, you're you have just to pay all your ether out the door too. And and we we don't even hold we don't even hold ether on mainnet. We hold our ether on Rinkaby. But you just yeah okay you use transaction fees, but you you use the token for voting, not the or the you know I mean sure yeah. I mean five cents yeah yeah, yeah what. Yeah, even if it's five cents, why should we have to pay five cents to vote? And 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 it does cost like even with these ether prices, like ten bucks to create the DAO. It's not not really? much. Yeah, I think it's like three bucks or something. Really? Uh, Man, at I least so. I, I I remember creating a DAO and it cost forty dollars. But maybe See, that's why I'm price. saying let's make one now while it is cheap. Because no, we won't, we don't have assets to make to hold on. Um, uh, not yet. We uh, just would need to move them there, and then we could like directly donate from our DAO to milestones. Even no, but we can't. Like uh, technically, we can't call address. with data. And we can only yeah exactly it's the address. I, we, I'm we, pretty we, sure it's a quick it's a quick uh, fix though. So somebody could make that. Uh, yeah, we, we can on it roadmap, but it's months down the line. I think we can at least stop the recording since it breaks drop boxes and stuff. Um, okay, okay. Wait, so are we done? Is there anything else that we need to do? I think no, I mean, as far as this meeting, you're good to go. Okay, I, I have a couple of questions after the recording is done. Oh, I'm feeling Yay. so funny. I love your shirt, by the way, Greg.